Hello there, welcome to another part of this business planning series, your ultimate guide to creating a business plan. In this video, I'm going to go through the sales forecast. Now the sales forecast is so essential, it's imperative that you create a sales forecast for the same reasons why you need an expenses forecast. If you didn't watch the previous video on expenses forecasts, then please go back and watch that because it will help you with this video. So the reasons why an expenses forecast is so important is you cannot create a cash flow statement or a projected profit and loss statement without the expenses forecast. And it's the same with the sales forecast. So to know how profitable the business is likely to be and to project how much cash is going to be needed and what the cash flow is going to be like for the business, you have to have a sales forecast. A couple of other things to mention about the sales forecast before we get started with the template is that the sales should be accurate and should tally with the expenses forecast. As an example, you cannot purchase 50 units on the expenses forecast, but then on the sales forecast, you sell 100 units. It's not possible. You cannot buy 50 and sell 100. On the expenses forecast, you cannot buy enough supplies to provide 100 services, but then on the sales forecast, you are providing 500 services. They have to match, they have to tally up. If the business plan is not going to be accurate, if it's not all going to tally, and if the documents, the financial documents, are not going to be hand in hand, then there's just no point doing the business plan at all. We're trying to provide a realistic and accurate picture of the next year, two years, three years, five years. So it's really important that things are done accurately. Now saying that, I may contradict myself here because with the sales forecast, this is the only document where you have to guesstimate. With assets and liabilities and expenses, you can get a really good figure in mind just by doing a bit of research of how much these things are going to cost, how much cash is needed. But with sales, how do you forecast sales? It, it is extremely difficult. The template itself is not difficult, but completing the template in the sense of filling the template does require research. It does require some experience. You really need to evaluate the contacts you have and the amount of turnover and business these contacts will provide your marketing strategy. So even though this series will show you how to create the sales forecast, there is a lot of background work you need to do in order to get the figures to complete the templates. If you have any questions about any of that or any comments, if you feel you could provide a bit of feedback or some insight into the sales forecast, just leave the comment or question in the comment section below. Now to create the sales forecast, it's going to be very easy. So we're simply just going to use the template we created for the expenses forecast. So if you have joined the video here, then please go back and watch the previous video because it will really help. So we're back on Excel. This is the three year expenses forecast that we created in the previous video. If you change the page layout orientation to landscape and then go to print preview, you should be able to see that the template we've created is very printer friendly or PDF friendly if you wanted to save it as a PDF. It looks fantastic. Very pleased with how that has turned out. If you have struggled with creating the expenses forecast, then you might just want me to create it for you, or you might just want to drop me an email and get some tips and pointers. Feel free to email me, info at bpfs-online.com. So we're now going to move on to the sales forecast. So sheet two here, I'm going to name that, or rename it, if I right click, go to rename, I'm going to name mine sales. You can name it sales forecast or whatever you want, whatever makes sense to you. So we have our expenses and we have our sales, expense forecast, sales forecast. Now all we're going to do is highlight the whole 
template by clicking that button at the top left, right clicking and copying. So I'm just copying the whole spreadsheet and then going to sales, clicking at the top left again, right clicking and pasting. So I've pasted my expenses forecast to my sales tab. Now all I want to do is change the title, so we have three year expenses forecast. Let's change that to three year sales forecast. The template is exactly the same as it was for the expenses forecast. All I want to do is delete the expense titles here. Just like so. And now we're ready to enter titles for sales. Now, if you're only providing one sale, if you're selling one product, then you don't need all of these rows. If you are providing a number of different products, a number of different services, and you want to break down sales per service, per product, and I really suggest you do that, then you will need all of these rows. So as an example, we can put product A, product B, if I use my handy box to drag down, we can then do product C, product D, and product E. You may then provide services, we could add service A, Service B, Service C, Service D. Now once your services and products have been entered, you can simply highlight them, copy, so right click and click copy, paste to year two, so right click and paste, and paste to year three. Now the way this template has been set up is that it's all printer friendly. So if I just change my page layout to landscape, so page layout orientation landscape, and go to print, then you'll see my sales forecast is printer friendly and PDF friendly, just like the expenses forecast. Now, if you do not need so many rows, let's just say you're selling one product and providing one service, then all you need to do is delete a number of rows. You can do that by highlighting, right clicking and selecting delete. If you only have a couple of rows, then potentially you can fit all three years or forecasts on one single page. Now that's it for the sales forecast. It's all done. The formulas have all been copied. So as I enter information up here, you can see the formulas are still working for each month and the year totals are still working down the bottom. So nice and easy. In the next video, we will move on to the cash flow forecast, which is a bit of a step up, but I'll try and keep things as simple as possible. And I'm here to help you if you get stuck. So that's it for this video. As mentioned in previous videos, this course and lots of other free courses are available on my website. I'll speak to you in the next video.